Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate the Detroit Movie Trailer's title text effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and leave a like below for more videos like these. So to start, I'm going to create a new black video on the timeline by going to File, New, Black Video. I'm going to keep it at 1920 by 1080 since that's what the resolution I want it to be is, and press OK, and then drag it onto the timeline to create our starting base timeline. Now I'm going to grab my text title tool and we're going to type out whatever words we want. So I'm going to type out Detroit just to keep it like the movie title. And although I don't know what font that they exactly used in the movie, that's not too important. You can use whatever font you want. So I'm using one called Allegra Sans and I'm going to make it a bit bigger here. If you don't see this panel, you can always go to the Essential Graphics panel in the Window menu. Uh, and this is a newer update if you're still using the old Legacy Title tool. That means you have not updated your Premiere Pro if you don't see this. But you can still do this with the old title tool as well. So next, I'm going to center it by clicking on these two vertical and horizontal centering alignments. And we're going to create a little bit of an animation to make it go from big to small. So I'm going to make it just big enough so that you can still see all the letters within the composition. And then we're actually going to go to the Effect Controls panel and using the scale keyframe, we're going to toggle animation with that little stopwatch icon. And at the beginning of the clip, we'll start at something like two or 300 and then slowly scale back as we move forward. So I'm going to go forward in the timeline and then take it back down to something like this, right about 50. So when I play that back, you'll see it slowly goes in to out. And if you want to create a little bit of velocity, you can adjust by right clicking on the keyframe and easing in or out of certain keyframes so it kind of slows down as it gets to this point. It's important that you're using solid white text if you want this to work properly. So do make sure that the color of the fill is solid white. And now that we've got our text and our background set up, we just have to fill it in with the video and add some color effects. So luckily I've got a clip of Detroit since, hey, I'm from here, I was born there and I'm going to place it over top. And there's a few things I'm going to do to make it look more like the movie. For example, I can go to the effects, grab a black and white effect and drag it on there. And I'll also add some noise and grain by just adding a noise effect. Make sure I'm not using color noise in the effect control panel and increase that percentage a tiny bit just to distort it up a little like in the trailer. You can always go more in depth in the Lumetri color panel by adjusting things in the basic correction like contrast, exposure, and all of that. But I have tutorials on color correction and color grading on my channel for you to look into if you want. Next, I'm gonna highlight this clip and in the effects control panel, I'm gonna set the blending mode to multiply. What that's going to do is it's going to only show what's on this clip that's darker than what's underneath. So essentially it's going to fill into the text. And then you have that cool Detroit movie text effect. But we're missing one thing, that red color tint that fades in at the end. So before we do that, I'm going to do a little bit of an extension here. Right now the text is only five seconds long, so consider how long you want your title to be. I'll just throw it at 10 seconds just for this example and I'll chop off the rest of that clip and so we can start keyframing our tint. So now under the effects panel, I'm gonna search for one called tint and click and drag it onto the effect. There's many ways that you could add this red tint, but again, this is just one of them. So first for map to black, we're gonna keep it black and map to white, we're gonna make it bright red. And what that's gonna give us is this awesome red lens tint. However, to make it fade gradually in, we're going to set the amount to tint from zero, click that stopwatch icon to create a keyframe, and then move on over a little bit. So I'm gonna make the fade happen right as the text is halfway through. So I'll start the keyframe there, and then I'll move on over and set the keyframe to 100%. So when I play that back, you'll see from this point to this point, it's going to completely tint red. So it goes like that, and then it tints red. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a shot with your own text, your own colors and effects. And let me know what you come up with. Tag me on it on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to send me those. And let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you guys liked this video, leave a like on it below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet to stay tuned for more videos like these. 
and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.